This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today uh, I have come up with a new topic that is uh, NG driver for Angular JS application. So we must have uh, seen this topic that okay, uh, for Angular JS or, or Angular based application, we have to use protector, right? But uh, protector for protector, we have to use JavaScript. But can we use Selenium WebDriver with Java? And uh, can we use uh, Selenium Java for Angular based application or Angular JS based application? So answer is yes, we can do that. But there is a third party uh, API that we have to use that third party library. We have to use that that is called ng driver. We have to use and uh, it's very simple. You don't need to change your technology. You don't need to change your programming language. You can still use Selenium with Java here and there are some other extra attributes. You just need to you need to check. You need to learn the library and then start using it. OK, so today I'll show you how exactly we can do that and I'll give you one. Uh, you know, we will write some code for Angular. I'll give you how exactly Angular uh, application looks like a very simple demo application. We will see that and then we will start writing the automation some basic code. Also, we will write that. So first of all that first of all you need to understand that why angular js based application is uh, different from uh, you know other typical applications a normal application so angular js application is used for generally for single page application where the data is a very dynamic right where the html content is dynamic and it is used with angular framework so angular is a javascript framework javascript technology uh, ui developers they are using angular provided by google and people are using that now after angular 2 uh, uh, we don't call angular js we call only angular so i'm not going depth into angular so in a typical web application we have already seen that okay if you have a typical web application where you have seen number of locators where the locators are available in the form of id then we have name then we have uh, you know typical class is available we can simply do that id name class or maybe some other attributes are there so we can use xpath css selectors link text and everything we can use that so it's a typical normal application we can see but in angular application guys what happens if you talk about angular application in angular application there are some different types of contents are available so we have let's see uh, you know if you see ng binding is there then we have ng uh, model is there then we have ng something like this options are available so these are the different HTML tags are available. So the, whenever you see that, okay, something like this ng model, ng binding, ng uh, you know receptor or ng repeater or ng options or ng modeling, something like this, okay, it means that is the Angular based application. I'll give you a demo also. Don't worry about that. So for Angular based application, we have certain tools are available. That is, uh, you know, we all know that okay, a very famous tool, Protector. But for Protector, we have to use JavaScript plus you can use uh, TypeScript also, right? So for this, for normal application that the regular application that you are using, you can use a simple Selenium uh, web driver with the uh, Java programming language or Python or Ruby, whatever the preferred language that you want to use, you can simply do that, right? So protector with JavaScript is what? Protector with JavaScript is simple. There is a web driver JavaScript binding is there. On top of that, they have created one more wrapper internally they are calling web driver javascript only right so this is the web driver javascript and uh, web driver plus javascript and uh, on top of that they have created protector once again like this right a wrapper they have created and protector says that okay we will do okay we will provide some extra locators uh, support for extra locators like ng binding model options and everything but you have to write your code your script everything you have to write in your javascript and or TypeScript. TypeScript is nothing, just a wrapper on top of JavaScript to provide more object-oriented look, okay, for the programming. But ultimately, it's a JavaScript only internally. So that's a problem with the thing because uh, let's see, I'm working with WebDriver with Java or Python. I don't want to change to Protector because I had to learn JavaScript, and we know that okay, JavaScript is not that very straightforward. Although it's very powerful language, but I have to learn. And learning a programming language again it, it takes time getting the expertise also it takes time right we are doing working with java python from last five six years and we are more comfortable more community support more bloggings more channels are available with respect to java so that's why i don't want to move to protectors so easily right 
and some other problems also with protector like let's see from last two years we haven't got any update with respect to protector updates and everything so there are other problems also so let's not talk about pro protector problems we talk about it okay what is the solution if i don't want to move to javascript protector can i use webdriver java yes we can do that without any problem so for such application what you can do that guys you can simply use that you can create your own xpath and everything you can do that for these application like let's see xpath at the rate ng bind is equal to something like this or simple you can do that or css selector you can do that with the proper custom weight mechanism you can use a proper explicitly weight or custom weight or fluent weight you can use that proper synchronization custom synchronization you can you can write and then you can do that but sometimes what happens is okay your custom javascript code or sorry custom uh, web driver weight also is not working or explicitly weight is also not working your synchronization is not happening properly and then you 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 know you start getting some uh, you know failure cases and all those things and then uh, today it's working tomorrow it's not working with a typical normal web driver java and python that is a problem we have seen that for angular based application i'm talking about right i'm not talking about the normal application i'm talking about angular or angular js based application okay this application so how to do that so first of all why it's difficult to you know do that uh, difficult to automate angular js application with web driver java because what happens that okay angular renders dynamic content okay whenever any action is performed on the web page let's say you're clicking on a button or you're clicking on a link or something like this what happens that okay there is an action is rendered behind the scene in the backend so let's see if there is a angular js application and there is a you simple fill this particular form right and there is a button is there one submit button is there the moment you click on this particular submit button what happens let's see you clicking on this particular button some okay backend process will render and uh, one request will be sent to the server okay this is my backend server and then get the response or let's see doing a post call or get call or whatever you are doing it and then by the time everything is happening okay in the back end and then you have to write a custom javascript code over there as a ui developer that okay uh, this javascript will find it okay what is the state of the state of this particular request that we have sent and once we get the response from the server then only okay the result will be displayed on the ui so this is a typical you know mechanism of javascript uh, you know uh, anglo js engine right so with this situation our normal web driver java synchronization won't work that is the first problem sometimes okay you will face a lot of uh, synchronization issue with uh, angular js application if you are using web driver java so the first limitation is always guys that is a sync issue you will be getting it and the second problem is that the different locators that okay different uh, you know html tags and okay locators that uh, angular applications they are using we don't have any support for in java and ruby and python because we have by.id class name name tag name xpath css selectors link text and partial link text we don't have any ng bind or let's see by.ng binding or by.model or by.options we don't have those things so that's why we have to use protector for that but the thing is what if i don't want to use protector can i use a sample can i add a flavor over here the flavor of ng driver so there is a new api which is written in java so you don't need to move to okay you don't need to move to and it's written in java you don't need to move to javascript with protector you see you can still okay stay with java and then use this particular ng driver separate api along with selenium web driver api so what i'm saying is along with your web driver okay api okay and then simply start using it web driver with java ng driver with java and start automating okay this particular application angular js application we don't need to use protector or javascript and all those things right now how to do that who created this ng driver so if you go to this uh, ng driver paul hammond paul hammond is one of the uh, you know uh, he was working with thoughtworks he is he was one of the uh, you know contributor for uh, selenium also and so we can trust this guy because he is the main contributor for selenium okay different components and everything and he was closely working with simon stewart over there so in that case he has created a very good api and the good thing about this api is that good thing about this library is that like two months ago recently on uh, 22nd feb okay they have made some changes over there 
you can okay see their licensing and everything and it's a very powerful tool and the documentation is also good and all those things they have given over here right so what this guy says that okay you just need to add the dependency whatever dependency that you have add this dependency and start simple using it <coughs> so let's do that so what i have done this is my clips this is the maven project that i have created and i'll go to my pom.xml file and in my pom.xml file what you have to do you have to add that particular dependency so i'm not going to use uh, j unit so remove this j unit dependency i'll be using let's see uh, yeah just a second let me add a dependency for ng driver so this guy says that okay um let me search for a dependency there's a sc scroll down scroll down yeah so this is a dependency this guy says that okay you can go there and then add a dependency over here or you can simply go to uh, maven right click on it go to their maven repository and this is a change log you can see that their recent releases are available 1.1.5 february to okay 22 2020 they recently released you can get the repository from the maven also okay this is the thing and then you can simply get it from this is a re, uh, recent one 1.1.5 1.1.5 yeah so this is a dependency you can simply use it over there so i'll just add this particular dependency and uh, let me remove this thing i don't need a scope and the recent version is 1.1.5 i'll be adding it okay so simple add this this is the latest version 1.1.5 and this is a dependency you can see it over here simple add this dependency in your project and that's it and uh, i'll be using my selenium web driver dependency also and i'll be using web driver manager so i'll do one thing quickly i'll be adding selenium java maven dependency so let me add it quickly so i'll be using 3.141 copy this and uh, paste it over here and what i'm going to do that i'll be adding the web driver manager also the bonnie gracia so that uh, sorry just a second web driver manager github okay so i'll be taking the recent dependency over here so just copy this dependency and i remove test over here i don't need any scope for testing i'm writing everything inside the main java okay that's fine okay so these are the three dependencies i have added this is for uh, automatically it will download the exe file this is for selenium java and this is ng driver ng web driver actually not ng driver ng web driver and the recent version i'm using it created by paul hammond he's a guy okay perfect so i'll just close my format example file and after that what you have to do that uh, we need to pick an application that which is which is supporting you know which is you know angular based application so what i'm going to do that i have an application you must be knowing okay uh julie julie is uh you know she is a very good contributor for uh, you know different product product demo and all those things and and uh, she is a main contributor for uh, you know uh, for angular and everything and she has uh, written a lot of things with respect to pro uh, protector also so she has created one dummy uh, sample uh, protector demo application so i'm using the same application around five years ago she has created and then uh, she has she has written over here this is a setup that you have to do that so we are going to get uh, we are going to clone this particular repo, repo. so i'm i'll be doing one thing just i'll go to my eclipse and i'll go to my directory in documents or you can go to your c drive or d drive or whatever so i'm going to create a directory over here let's see this is my uh protector or let's see i'll directly use this git clone over here okay in my documents so you go to your documents or c drive or d drive or desktop where exactly you want to clone it simple clone it so it's very simple quickly it's done and uh, after that what we have to do after that we have to go to this particular directory it will create a uh it will create a directory over here you can see that if you go to my documents uh see if you go to my documents protector demo got created and all the supporting files are available over here but we are not bothered about it's just a normal application uh written in uh, uh written with uh, angular maybe we just need to use it over there so i simply go to this particular directory cd protector demo and then simple do npm install okay so let me do this npm install and then we will start the 
server so let it run okay same exact thing will work with your uh, okay so let it be like this ignore these errors that's fine and then after that we have to start the server so for starting the server it says that okay uh, npm start simple okay you can simply start your server okay let me type it directly so just clear the console and npm start and run it so you can see that okay server got started and after starting the server my application is running on my local host and this is the okay this is the url and then what i'm going to do that i'll be going to the application my browser and then you can see that okay this is angular based application actually okay now after that what i have to do that uh, i just right click on it go to inspect open in chrome so that you can inspect it properly with the dev tools over here with the elements dev tools and you inspect this guy let's see the first guy can you see that input ng model attribute is available so these are the HTML properties along with input tag if you see this particular drop down it's written with again ng model if you see this particular uh, go button it's uh, written with the button ng click so whenever you see ng click and you see that okay with ng model let's see for this particular model we don't have any id or name is not available and in fact in class also they are using ng valid ng untouched ng pristine or something like this so this is a typical angular application <clears throat> right so let's see the simple application if i simple write 2 plus uh, 2 and click on go it's taking some time it means internally some backend processing is happening and it's calculating 2 plus 2 and then giving you 4 over here so angular is getting rendered and through the callback and then uh, angular is waiting for that particular element okay from the uh, request uh, response from that particular request from the server and then four is coming and then we are calculating four over here like this so you see that okay html is quite different from a normal typical application right so you can see that button and all those things over here and this is my normal application let's see this hubspot login and you inspect this guy the first guy you see that okay this is normal this is id equal to this type equal to this there is no ng is written right there is no ng binding or something so this is not uh, angular application right this is not angular js or angular application but this is angular application so this is how you can identify that okay yeah uh, ui developer is using angular right now we will try to automate this particular scenario so how to do that so before doing this what i'm going to do that okay i'll go to my src main java and uh, right click on it and let's create a package over here and my package is let's see the pages package okay so after this what i'm going to do that under this particular page is i'll create a simple page object and my page is let's see this is super calculator so i'm going to create a class my calculator page class okay so i simple write calculator page and simple create a class and we know that okay whenever we create the page object we have to define web driver okay so i quickly write uh, my web driver over here and import this particular web driver after that what we have to do that we have to define ng web driver reference also so what you have to do you simple write ng uh, this web driver which is coming from where you can see that the dependency that we have added paul hammond ng web driver it's coming from there and i'm going to create let's see ng uh, ng web driver like this and then i have to create javascript executor also guys okay javascript executor um let's see i'm going to create a reference over here javascript this is my js driver so three references i'm just creating like that after that mm -hmm. what i have to do in a normal page object model what we do either you are using page factory pattern or uh, at the rate find by or you can use some by locator strategy also so let's say i want to use by locator strategy so what you have to do you just inspect this guy so I want to automate this i want to enter something over here select something from the drop down <clears throat> okay whatever the arithmetic operation you want to perform select this and click on go button i want to automate the scenario so i inspect the first guy so i'll first i'll create the elements over here you can see that input ng model and there is no id nothing is available and class is also okay not unique so better how to use this ng model equal to first so let me create <clears throat> a by locator so how will you create a by locator you simply write by angular model why angular model because you can see that this is ng model 
if it is ng model you have to create by angular model guys okay so now you can see these are the extra attributes okay will be given by ng web driver and then use it something like this create a locator name let's see first element is equal to and then you have to reuse by angular over here by angular dot okay dot model and what is the model name whatever the model name is there is equal to first so you don't need to write ng model you simply write by angular model first by angular dot model and this is my model name over here like this okay same thing i'll be creating for the second element also so for second element i'll check what is the model so for the second element uh, okay this is model is equal to second over here so i'll be writing second element name is also second let's see writing like this then i want to check that okay which operator you want to select so this is again ng model right so i'll be using just copy this this is my operator okay this is a select list and you can see that okay select from where and ng model is equal to operator so i'll be using operator over here okay operator right and uh, for the go button inspect this particular go button and here for go button <coughs> you see ng click not the ng model right and it's a button you can see that at the tag name is the button tag right so what do you have to do you simply say that uh, by angular button text okay like this what is the button name go is a button is equal to the element name is go and uh, simple write by angular dot not sorry not new by angular dot button text and what is the text of the button the text of the button is go with this explanatory mark right so i just copy this explanatory mark and then with go like this right so let's say this is the element got created and after that we have one more element guys this four so moment you write let's see three plus two okay element is coming after you know few seconds and displaying as five so what i'm going to do that inspect this guy and it's written with h2 class is equal to ng binding see here we don't have any property this is class is equal to ng binding so this is not the ng binding property this is property value right it's not like ng click or ng model so here it's not like ng binding is equal to this here we have it's written class is equal to ng binding so it's a normal attribute it's not an okay not a i would say not a angular attribute so how to do that so you can combine both the attributes together so let's see if i say that okay this is normal attribute now by result i'll be using it is equal to let's see the element name is by and i'll be using let's see by dot tag name and the tag name is what tag name is h2 so i can simply use that tag name is h2 <clears throat> so you can create the combination of both the things you can use um ng driver by locators as well as our typical selenium by locators also you can use that okay then i quickly launch my web driver and all those things so i simple write uh, let's see i'll just create the constructor of this particular class and uh, what i'm going to do and first i'll launch <coughs> a web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup i'll be using it right and after that what i'm going to do that uh, so this guy will do automatically you know binary file <clears throat> download the binary file and then the same driver i'll be using it for uh, this particular driver for my chrome driver so is equal to new chrome driver right or whatever the browser that you want to use driver equal to new chrome driver and then what i'm going to do that uh, <coughs> this particular js driver i'll be initializing is equal to in bracket i'll convert my driver into javascript executor actually so this is my javascript executor so i'll just type cast into javascript executor so i'll be getting this particular uh, okay <clears throat> this js driver also now with ng driver what you have to do you have to use ng driver is equal to new create the object of this class new ng driver reference we are taking it from the class variable is okay is equal to new ng driver and here in ng driver says that okay you have to give what javascript executor reference so i give javascript executor reference over here 
perfect okay so this is the thing that you have to use for with ng driver and then i'll be using my typical launching my application driver dot get url url is this i'll be taking it's running on my local host 3456 okay and uh, then what we have to do that see when you launch this particular application let's say i'm launching this i'm just refreshing this so my angular page is <coughs> rendered and loading is loaded on the page so what we have to do you have to write after every whenever you are going to you know land on a different page first time you're opening the page or you're clicking on a button or something you have to add one more line that is called wait for angular request to finish this is what i'm talking about if you remember that i told you <coughs> whenever you're clicking on a button a page is getting refreshed so internally in the back end some <coughs> something is getting rendered your request is getting rendered it will go to the back end so we need something we need a javascript over here so which can wait for that particular element or that particular angle angular request is completed or not so with this method we don't need to write any implicitly wait or explicitly wait or any kind of custom wait simple write wait for angular request to finish so it will wait okay that uh, angular request is finished or not and once it is finished then only it will perform the next action this is the purpose of this particular method over here this is a very powerful thing like this now what i'm going to do that okay i'll be creating a method over here now this is my constructor got created now i'll be creating a method let's see public void some page action i'll be writing do some <clears throat> so do some like uh, i'll be passing two parameters string b1 and a string v2 right because we have to pass a v1 and v2 let's say i'm passing two plus three like this then uh, okay, this is a string then which locator i'll be using first so i'll be i'll start using my driver over here driver dot <clears throat> find element and which element the first element that we have already created with by angular model okay guys by angular dot model this is not a typical by locator this locator is created with by angular model which is coming from ng driver so i have to use this and first i'll be clearing it so just uh, dot clear it and uh, after that dot send keys and whatever the value that you are passing let's see v1 value i'm passing same thing i'll be creating for uh second guy right so for the second guy this is the second guy first clear it and enter the second value v2 over here <clears throat> and from the drop down you select plus over here so what i'm going to do that for operator we have already created this so i'll be using driver dot find element okay operator so although it's a select class if you this is a drop down you can see that okay select you can use select class or if you don't want to use select class you can directly use send keys also so quickly i'll be using let's see dot uh, send keys and uh, whatever the value you want to pass so i want to pass let's see plus over here okay so i'm going to perform sum so i'm going to pass plus over here okay so select plus and when you select plus you have to click on go button so for go button also we have created this so what i'm going to do that A driver dot <clears throat> find element go button dot click now see the moment i click on it guys see let's see i'm passing two plus two the moment i click on go again angular you know a request is happening angular is rendered so we have to wait for the angular request to finish right so what you have to do the same line you have to write it over here once again after clicking on it right so if you see that okay the moment i click on okay go it's showing dot 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 like this right and whatever the result that you are getting let's see two plus <clears throat> two plus three i'm getting four over here or five over here whatever right so this is the result i have to inspect that we have already created the result so what i want from this particular result you just okay print it on the console the result text so i'll simple write driver <clears throat> dot find element a result right dot sorry dot get text okay you get the text and then print it on the console and then you return it so i simple return like this okay guys i'm not storing in a variable i'm just writing a plain okay simple method over here okay <clears throat> like this 
So it is returning the text. So what I'm going to do that I'll instead of void, I'll be using a string. So don't judge me that okay, I'm not following the best practices or something like that. This is just a POC, right? This is just a demo. Okay. So obviously that you can create some other generic method and other utilities and all those things where you can <clears throat> use all these utilities over there because I don't want to spend time on those utilities and custom methods and all. Right? We are majorly focusing on the ng driver part. So let's see, this is a method got created, right? So perfect. So this method is ready. Now what I'm going to do that I'll be creating, I'll go to my SRC test Java, I'll be creating one test ng class. And the package name is, let's see, I'm going to create com dot test package and uh, right click on it and go to class. And my class name is uh, what? My class name is, let's see, I'm giving calculator test over here and click on finish. In this particular calculator test, I'll start writing my test over here now. So how will you write it? So simple, <clears throat> let's see, I'll be using my at the rate uh, before, sorry, at the rate before test. And, and the first method I'll be using, let's see public, my, okay, uh, come on, public white setup method. And before test, you have to add a test ng library first. So let me add this and import this before test quickly, okay? Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do that at the class level, whatever the calculator page reference I'll be creating, this is the calculator page reference. Import this and this calculator page, I just need to create the object of this particular class. Okay, is equal to new calculator page like this so that we can call all the methods of the calculator page. Right, so the moment I create the constructor, <clears throat> this code will be executed browser will be launched with the URL like that, right? So calculator page and then I'll start writing my test cases over here So I simple write let's see at the rate uh, test Public avoid let's see my first test is that uh, calculator or let's see some test This is my I want to add right I want to check the summation is happening properly or not <clears throat> so at the rate test and I'm giving let's see this is the priority is equal to one over here and With this particular cal page Dot you remember that do some method we have to pass v1 and v2. I'm passing let's see 10 comma 20 so do some method will be called and 10 comma 20 saying that okay, you have to pass as a string over here because This will take strings only so you cannot pass the integer. So that's why I have to pass the strings only so I'll do one thing I simple <clears throat> write 10 in double quotes like this so do some method what exactly it will return do some method pass v1 v2 in first text field v <clears throat> 10 second text field 20 select plus and then click on go button and then wait for the angler to be finished and then you get the text get the text means from the result tag so if you're passing 10 comma 20 like this 10 and uh, 20 we are getting 30 so it will return what it will return 30 over here guys right return the get text of the result so we are returning 30 so what exactly it will return it will return 30 so i'll simple write let's see string uh, result is equal to <coughs> this and then i'll quickly write one assertion over here assert dot assert equals your actual value is result and what are you expecting i'm expecting 30 from this Okay, so let's see it's working or not. So right click on it and run as test ng and let's see. Okay, so my browser is getting launched entering the URL see 10 plus 20 <clears throat> 30 and you can see that 30 is getting printed on the console and assertion absolutely working fine. The result is perfectly fine over here. Right now I'll be writing let's see uh, two more test cases. So I'll just copy this guy. And let's see instead of do some now. Let's see do some uh, Subtraction so instead of plus you have to do a minus over here and Return the same thing. So do subtraction. I'll be using and then I'll be writing. Let's see do uh, Division also So Later on we can write a common method. That's okay. I don't want to you know spend time on the common methods for division What we have to do? For division we have to pass one forward slash 
so so this one forward slash right perfect so these three methods are there and i quickly write my three tests over here so this is my first test second and third <clears throat> this is for uh, some test now second one is for the subtest subtraction and uh, instead of do some i'll be calling do sub and i'll write let's see this time 100 minus uh 80. so 100 minus 80 20 should be the result it should return 20 and then it should be matched with 20 over here and then instead of sum i'll be writing div test over here so divide uh, divisible by let's see uh 20 divisible by 2 it should give you 10 over here right and this is my priority number three okay so what I need to do now, I just need to run it. Okay, so let me quickly check. Uh, this is instead of do sum, I have to write do div. Do sum, subtraction, and do div. So three test cases should be executed back to back with this priority. Let's see. Launching 20, it's waiting. See 30, 180, 20, and 20 divided by 2, 10. Perfect. And here you can see that 30, 20, 10, and three test cases absolutely working fine. Like this sum test, sub test, and sub test, and the division test. Right? Perfect. So this is what, guys, simple. You can, you don't need to use protector for that. You can simply use. Uh, ng driver see it's so simple whenever you see ng driver related uh, application and people are using this something like this dot model dot model dot button text or something so you have to use a by angular locator with that so whenever you see that ng model ng click right something like this in that case you have to use it like this and then on their uh, git repo also you go to their git repo they have given some documentation you simply go there and then they have given see if you have using any by repeater, you can use by repeater, exact repeater, by binding, okay, exact binding. See that what we have used by angular dot model we are using. You can see that we have used the same thing by angular dot model, by angular dot button text. So you can see that by angular dot button text is there. Partial button text also you can use that. If you really want to use CSS containing text also, you can simply use that. And then this is what we have to create the page objects if you're using page factory okay page elements api if you're using so i'm not i'm not a big fan of uh, page factory so i'm just avoiding i'm just simple using okay by locators over here like this this is more better approach <clears throat> so that also you can simply do that over here and then they have given the same exactly exact examples over here okay so you can read their documentation and this is the maven repository this is a change log you can see that okay these are the different and the good thing is recently just 22nd feb few days back 15 days back only <clears throat> today is what today is 8th yeah so yeah 15 days back only they recently released with compatible with 3.141 so it's absolutely compatible with the latest version of selenium tomorrow selenium 4 is officially announced they will make compatible with that also they, these guys are very very active right so and there are very very light bugs are there i mean it's kind of bug free bug free library you can simply do that so this guy is uh, has done a really good job paul hammond and paul hammond and then simple start using it you can use this particular application or you can pick any application available on the okay available on on online so you can check and then start using it okay that's it so but do not forget to use uh, this code <clears throat> this line now we don't need to write any custom weight okay implicitly weight or explicitly weight and all those things this guy will do automatically all those stuff okay perfect guys so that's all for this particular video i hope you you know learn something from this particular video and then you are good to go there i'll do one thing i'll just uh, upload this particular code to my git repo and uh, you can find the git repo a url in the description of this particular video and then simple you are good to go let me know if you have any issues or if you have any other application angular based application please 
give me the URL in the comment section so that I can have a look and uh, we can create one end-to-end -end framework for that. Okay, with that. So thank you so much for watching this, guys. If you really like this video, please click on subscribe button and uh, please uh, share this video with others. Someone is struggling with the AngularJS application. So thank you so much, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.